So John Coyce published this article in 2001. He talked about the five diagnostic keys when it comes to single tooth implants. Get this article. It's, it's important. So we look, he looked at tooth position, the free gingival margin, gingival form, biotype, tooth shape, and osseous crest position. We can have things that are more favorable and other things that are more likely to be unfavorable. And this is high risk, low risk. We want this. So if we have a tooth and we're hoping this is gonna be our accreditation case, this is what we want. So tooth position. Let's say we're removing this right central incisor. This is good. If we lose two millimeters, we're right where we want to be. Our desired free gingival margin, this is very bad. Because what's going to happen to that tissue? It's going to get worse. OK, this would be better. This we don't want. If we're losing tooth number eight. Flat scallop is better than more highly scalloped. And when we mean scallop, we don't necessarily mean recession. We mean how far the papilla come up in between the teeth. Because what is normal? What is average scallop? About 40 to 45% the height of the tooth for the papilla to come up in between the teeth between the two central incisors. When the papilla comes way down, 50% or more, danger. Because in general, that means low crest between the teeth that we would sound and find four, plus four, five, six millimeters up in there. And that when, if you take out a tooth, you're likely to have the papilla flatten out. So this actually isn't quite as high scallop as I would like to illustrate here. But when we have high tissue, a lot of scallop, this is better when we're looking at losing teeth flat scallop. The thickness of the tissue, thin, more likely to recede. Thick is better, low risk. Square teeth are easier than more triangular teeth. All things that we should look at. And then the osseous crest position, which we've talked about a lot. Normal crest is what we expect to find. We can also find high crest, but low crest is the danger. Greater than three millimeters on the facial, greater than four millimeters interproximally, high risk.